all right in the last video we have seen what is the this keyword part one let us continue with the same thing last time we have seen the method log now we are going to see the another method something called as attach okay so the how the log is adding the strings to the report the same thing is also done using this attach okay if you take a look at here it is accepting two things one is a data the other one is a media type or options okay we will see one by one now imagine if our test case is failing and i want to take a screenshot okay how could we do that so if you remember our scripts are not failing so what i can do i will add a dummy step and this this is a dummy step to fail dummy step to fail okay so now go to any of the login spec login spec what we have it just and right okay then callback function we'll just copy paste it right okay so here let's try to add the expert statement one to be two it should be fine we are just failing it our intention is to fail this particular one step i mean one feature we want to fail the other one let it be pass so now what happens when when it fails we have to take a screenshot and if you remember in the after hook we also return a if block where this particular block will be executed when your test case or when your scenario fails there we have simply console log and after that this dot log and taking the screenshot but this is not our intention right we should take a screenshot so now page dot definitely we need a play right here right so screenshot i want to take the screenshot okay and option you will be having different options in that one is path so from where you want to keep that particular reports i mean that particular screenshot i would say we have our own folder that is called as reports you, you can see here right left side reports slash okay uh, here we know you can store with the different uh, what we can say timestamps and many things are there just i will show you using the scenario name okay so here scenario dot pickle dot name okay dot png dot png okay this has formed the entire path so now this will give us the image await okay done so now once it is done we need to add we need to append it okay so see here this dot attach okay img okay here we have something called image type okay so image slash png okay so we'll try to run the program and see our screenshot is getting added to the report or not okay so we did simply taking the screenshot using page dot screenshot method okay so now you can see it is giving us the promise of buffer that should be fine and we are storing over here and the path and we have get got the file name using the pickle line okay so now we are passing the same variable here along with the type media type why we need this media type means you can attach different things that we will see now I will show you how to add JSON and XML and plain text. Okay, so you can add different types of files. You can attach different types of files. So now it's time for us to run the program. Okay, so let me delete the existing files. Sorry. Right click, reveal in Explorer. Just delete everything. Okay, now CLS and run the program. Now, one will pass, one will fail. 
because we have already dummy step where it is leading to the failure assertion failure there is no change in the functionality everything will remain same second scenario okay perfect you can see scenarios one failed one passed okay so now go back to your reports open your html reporter okay so you see this one got passed for pass there is no screenshot because we said only conditionally saying that if it is failed then only take the screenshot and if you open here you can see the error message along with it you can see the attached image over here you can see the attached image over here like this you can attach you can attach the screenshot in the cucumber playwright combination okay it is very simple all you need to do is take the screenshot using the playwright the method screenshot method you need to specify the path of it and why we have given the pickle dot name so that it will be unique and you can add the timestamp also your wish okay so now once you add it and we have a method that is called as attach where you can pass the buffer and the media type so now should i need to specify media type and do we have any other supported things yes we can attach different things you can directly attach the string you can directly attach a uh, what you can say json file okay i will show you here so see here before this okay let's try attaching some things for example this dot log okay i will simply attach only the text for example this is a sample sample text of string this is one second thing now let's say i have object or file anything for example constant object equal to let's say i have first name as equality tech last name some uh, zip code file lock something okay and you want to add this to the log so it is going to be simple this dot log okay i want to parse it okay i want to parse it object comma now this time you cannot say okay it, uh, it's a text one and all right so, uh, what is wrong here it should be attached Uh, one minute uh, this dot attach object and the media type is media type is application json application json okay uh, but what is the rang over here json dot stringify or okay json dot stringify my bad we are not it's not a or anything i mean but you can say when you have an object you have, you should stringify right okay this is one more way and uh, if you take a look at this link you can also add the file of application json same thing if you want to add any screenshots you have image png okay and if you go to the top you should also see text plane by default it is going to be text plane you can attach xml also okay 
So I think XML generally we don't add. At max, we are going to say strings. And sometimes definitely if you are doing any AP automation, definitely you want to attach something. So we need application JSON type to be attached. And if you are doing UI automation, especially, definitely you need PNGs files. Okay. So now let us try to run the program and see what will happen. So everything should be appended as it is. So let me delete the exist one. Not a mandatory, but I'm just as a safer side, I'm deleting it. Now when you run it, so all three, that normal text along with the JSON, along with the screenshot should be attached. So all this is possible because of this particular this keyword provided by the Cucumber JS. So one scenario will pass, the other one will fail, which is intentional. Okay, it is done. Now go back to your reporter. Okay, you scroll down and you're able to see this one, JSON, right? Let me maximize it and you can see application JSON got added over here. Similar, similar thing, the plain text, right? And this is a PNG. You just scroll down, you can see the PNG. Like this, you can add, attach the different types of data. Maybe string, maybe JSON, XML, PNG, those, those kind of things you can attach it. Okay. I hope it is clear. And in the next video, we will see one more option that we have in this keyword is parameters. Okay. So thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.